much of control, and it looks like they don't want to stop there. It's kills they're after. They want to draw blood, but Gambit are quick to respond and take a double. The man advantage swings comfortably in their favor. Gambit don't need to rush on in, and in fact, as they just stand still and hold their positions, the send run into them, giving them all the kills and what should be a comfortable retake as it's only CNET and Killa has left to deal with. Oh, I, I thought for a second that might come back to bite you because you did just use the phrase only CNED, which is... Marshall, they want to try and work some ranged picks, force out some duels, and Defo is in a lot of trouble. The split through market takes him down immediately, and Shados now has to hold on to this site. He's got a teammate here to help him. But this is where that. the pistols are, are the most dangerous. I, I really enjoy this ball oh. coming through. It, it gives positioning over to try and give them extra space to get back into the side, but also section six off. It might not play any part at all, however, because it looks like it's almost funneling them into CNED with that Marshall. This wasn't even that heavy an investment. Now they've picked up a Guardian, if anything, having the most valuable weapon currently in play, and for... Gambit, I almost wonder if it's just worth trying to farm up some extra ultimate points. Unfortunately, the two players alive, none of the greatest of ults. No, they don't really, you wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be farming up ult points, really. More so just dropping those weapons right now that Ascend have retrieved so many and pretty much have a guaranteed round win. Let's see if Gambit can at least make it costly on Ascend's eco round. This is pretty much as bad as it gets. And they're only going to get away with the two kills. So that is a stellar comeback from us. Oh. And I've seen a bunch from in the past. At least at this stage of the tournament, he hasn't really impressed me on the op. And, well, Cena's going to be dropped. Opera on the other side dealt with immediately. Redgar keeps on going. And with four HP, he doesn't oh. escape. Zeke just catching him as he rounds the corner. Three versus three. Numbers evened up. Ascend. Putting some focus on the B side, but it is a fake. They're playing themselves, but unknowingly. As Bone Cold sees the side is completely clear, that Spike wants to then start moving. Oh no! Goes through the smoke! And there's a trap wire here as well. Zeke will be fading back and moving to the A side where you've got a fight with Starzo losing it as well. Both wings that they tried to fight on, they lose. Leaving Zeke in a very tough position to pull this back. He has to deal with Cypher on the side. He's going to try to just plant it. Time was too low. So you've got an Ares in play for Chronicle, but also the Judge over on short. And Redgar is able to take down Zeke with it. CNET has to be cautious. Push. This is a Judge. He's got a Judge on the other side, and he's rushing him down with an off. What? What is this guy? He doesn't even dash out of there afterwards. That is the craziest decision making I've ever seen and of course it's very difficult to try and get through Shados is there to cover as well shock dot trying to clear underneath but they actually stop watching luckily there's the Ares on Chronicle which is able to find one and again this man I, as said he finds the timing he finds the positioning in almost every single spot it's left on to Cena so many players try and keep an eye on off and he's like yep that's a favorable fight for me just seen that oh, thing. Oh, the smoke has done him. Oh, oh, oh. Redgar out and Tenny. It's going to have to be a full on retake. Now, Gambit are normally pretty good in these positions. The problem is they don't have their trusty Odin to clear out a lot of those under spots that they need to try and find. The wall down is also going to delay them, and CNED still has a blade storm. That's the most concerning thing. As this wall starts to break, Starzo just pops down as slow. That's going to be all of the, the halting utility used up. But even still, the time is so low for Gambit at this point, uh, I feel like a save is pretty much the only option, and weapons are being dropped. CNED gets inside the smoke, of course he does. Now the blade storm back out, and up close, Shados will deal with him. Still little consolation for Gambit losing so many weapons, and in fact, I notice Bone Cold is pushing them down in the spawn. He's rushing them all the way down as the mid fight goes to kill us. Bone Cold's about to ride. Well, he got killed by the spike, so never mind. <laughs> That I'd gamble on him doing it. Well, let's see. His op shots have been hit or miss so far, and this time it's a hit right away. Zeke is going to be rezzed up at the wall, going down. Instantly allows Defo to get in there for the punish. Ascend. Looking for the B side, and with practically no choice, their back being held, their front though, they run right into Nats. He's spraying them down through smokes, and Odin waiting on the site. This is the worst possible scenario for Ascend, even 
the from the shadows committed to allow that rotate from Redgar, who's now on the backside, eliminating Starzo. Every single piece of the puzzle is coming together for Gambit here as they get away with a. Those cages are amazing, not just for blocking sight, but also because they stop anybody from even making it to generator without him knowing it. Like where yeah. Defo is right now, they cannot get to unless. They walk through the cage, and then he knows, okay, I have to be ready for someone to come around. He, the thing about Nats is he cannot be surprised. You walk into his sight, you take fights on his ground, oh, on his him. terms. The cam <laughs> is disgusting. <laughs> and this is the thing. Nats A, Nats is A. Go B. No. Oh, oh, that's a really nice boost up from Starzo. Prepared for there to be a player. Of course, after spamming through the wall, it made it a little bit obvious, but... He's giving them a way back into this round, almost left. trying to sell a fake. Are they going to predict this from Redgar, though? Like, th this angle's just dirty. Like, who even plays here? Who even no thinks to play yeah. here? It's just such a weird position that, okay, he's only going to get one, but nobody really expecting that spot. Drone. So he's actually just going to avoid it completely. And, well, this almost oh! becomes impossible! <laughs> even killing off the flanker! That was such a good shot from Defo. It leaves just killers alone. He's managed to get himself an afterplant. He does have a Hunter's Fury, but now in a one versus three, that ultimate, he needs some kills before he can even think to use it. And it forces him all the way back. A passive A-hold has to be taken, but the rotates have already come in and Ascend might not gamble on that with four players already in position to hold this down short is under their control. And the problem with that is that's where the spike is. I mean, if Starzo wants to cross right now, he doesn't have his wall to do it. And there's not even a flash for Zeke to come over and help. In fact, there's not even Zeke anymore. He gets taken out immediately. Cned's going to try to rotate in to help out. And uh, there's just too many players here. I mean, you're going to have to have a godlike performance to deal with these guys. The first is the spam, the Nats that puts him on 50 HP. And then there's the smoke, the cloud burst allowing the cross. They'll get to the site. Cned stays aggressive, though. It's so unpredictable, and that's why it works. Three kills already. The door broken immediately. Down goes the Hunter's Fury. It's not going to buy enough time, though. Really, you needed a tag out of this, and that's not going to happen either. The plant was faked out to push Shados forward, and CNET isolates him. Shock Dart's not going to land. Recon will reveal. That's a kill for sure, but the trade immediately from CNET and Ace from this man there's just nothing he can't do it is incredibly scary playing like against it. this guy look at the fast push by cnet the wall off allows a little bit of extra mid control to go towards gambit's side but it's not even the mid control that matters they're shutting down the b push completely dominating b main and leaving ascend with a pretty uh, rough spot they're watching the smoke they know that this is a possibility the only real issue would have been if they walked towards spawn and even then defo was there bone cold walking up and peak this angle is it something that's even going to be spotted oh no oh he gets stuck but he still manages to get out of the drone and get the kill onto that they're actually letting this one slip a little bit but thankfully they get rid of bone coal now it's left all onto killers again he's still got this hunter's fury there's not really been a time to use it and again in a spot where he's in a one versus three all it will really do is give away his position so we're looking to see if he can find anything here as the opportunity is chronicle falls the quick peek by this, but let's see how things go. The pistol starts out. Attack side for Gambit. Ooh, okay. They somehow managed to trade that back fairly evenly with Shados left on 1 HP, but he can heal back up. They've dealt with Zenith. They've got the B side, and here comes the plan. That's a fantastic start for Gambit. Yeah, this was the leave C dead to kill everyone and hold B on his own strat. It, it's not exactly gone to plan. Quick trades going back and forth, though, and now Zeke can get right back up to a healthy HP. Still, though, they've got to try and break down the remaining players sat within this site. The push looking to come through and some close angles being taken. They're actually going to try and isolate the jewel. Starzo just does that. And Defo, he's just not connecting the shots. It's left all onto this man once again in the clutch. And well, in a pistol round, it's that a little bit tougher. Control here. Hello. Keeping the drone nice and low. They know that there's not going to be anything to stop them as they make their way through. Market is theirs. Redgar with a great pick. And this is the thing about Gambit. Although they're showing so much pressure towards middle and basically giving away that it's a B split, they still have the wings being watched. And as Redgar picks up the kill onto Bone Cold, now they'll shift their focus towards this A site. The rotates that have come in are trying to hold them off, but they're taking a whole bunch of damage. CNET almost steps right into that shock dart. That could have been the end of him. And in fact, the end of him isn't far away. This is just a slaughter towards short, leaving three alive for... But... What I would say about Zeke, you know, ideal scenario here, he wants to just take a fight with a teammate.
damage somebody and let them finish him off so he can heal up off it. But he doesn't have that choice anymore. Wall up and now he's isolated on the B side. The rest of his team. On the other side of the map, this has to be a huge hold from Zeke. He gives away his position right away and that's a quick punish from Defo. Ascend lost control of B completely and well, unless Starzo was about to run through this. Impressive. You've got those duelists, you've got players that can get out of positions and find the openers. But as we've said before, Gambit love a default. Positions on individual players in deep parts of the map. They're holding are so different, but on the attack, Ooh. they have very different approaches as well. This one has not worked out. A dash out of Defo right into the hands. The site players, this is a good recovery though. One up close, Bone Cold needs to jump now. Oh no, he can't get it done in time. Uh, they just hunt him down. The headshot not connected, leaving Starzo alone. One versus two. Still winnable. Most certainly if he finds the first, but Shade, aggressive default, that won't work. Redgar is in their spawn. He has full committed to that ultimate. That is incredibly rare to see. The majority of the time, yeah. this plays as just a recon dart. Bone Cold, great hold to start with. He's going to even paranoia. And then, oh, the shrouded step in the corner. Did they see him? Did they hear him? Were they still hit by the paranoia? It doesn't matter because he kills Shados and almost good for a third. That is such a good start for a sand bone cold doing work. They've caught Redgar up behind as well. And this round becomes so much easier oh, to no. deal with in an ideal world. But a little bit of a hiccup as CNED goes down. Yeah, not an uncharacteristic whiff. It looked like he had the drop on his opponent. Stars are going to try and lock them in. This means if they want to go for a rotation, they'd have to go around the whole map. Instead, they're going to go pushing straight into killers. So they expect him to be here. No, and it's only going to be the trades. But I, I think he got in the corner undetected and got the jump on them. Oh, look at oh, this. this is Defo off in the pace again, but it's into a three-man stack on the side. And Killez is dealing with them. They haven't even spotted the scene ends up close. But now they have. The operator shot rung out. Bladestorm popped. I mean, they can slow it down now. Gamut have the choice to go back. Bone Cold is on the other side of this trap wire. Hasn't yet spotted it. They'll get close and then catch Chronicle. They can basically just get out of there instead, though. They're actually going to try and just make a bit of a play through. It hasn't worked out for them, though. Redgar already getting caught, and now they're putting it down to their Clutch King to try and bring this back. If there's anyone that can clutch this out on the server, it will be Nats with 30 seconds left. Bone Cold backing off. They know the short control is theirs. Here's the paranoia going through, but he gets blinded up himself. A bit of a trade there as he gets up close and deals with Defo. Gambit. Down by two. Do somehow get themselves onto the site. I, I'm not even sure that this is necessarily worth it. Like the three weapons they have might be better off holding onto the push. Risky, but the one for one trade is actually fine. They need to kill Starzo instantly, and they're just not going to be able to isolate him. In fact, he'll get both remaining players. Heard already Hunter's Fury buying him a little bit of time to get into position. Cloudburst, though, that's a real thorn in the side. Defo's able to get towards the back of the site. CNET shuts down one. There's the push. You had to kill Les to secure Defo, who had gotten into the site. And now they're stuck behind the smoke. This 11, a tied up scoreline. And Shados is attempting to save this rifle, but they are coming for him in force. And then attempting to go for aggressive mid control. And Redgar was holding for the push. That was where we saw Starzo get shut down right at the start of a round. That dash right past Seek. Good trades, good information early on. That allows the rotates to come in. Bone Cold okay. tries to make a play, but fully blinded up. Nats is able to take him down. Gambit have a fire lit under them, and the A side is now theirs. Better late than never, as they look for 12 rounds to regain the lead that they held for so long. Starzo, uh, though, will shut uh, down two. Oh, not again. Surely they've actually gotten to a site for once. It's only the post plants that they need. And they still have CNET to deal with. That's the scary thing. Peeking on range is not going to be an option. Shados is by himself underneath and challenged by Sarzo. Taken down. Nats needs a huge round to keep this alive. The spike being diffused as we speak. Akam going to spot out one, but as he peeks, there's the op. The shot missed. A rarity and an opportunity now. Nats needs to be quick on this. It's being diffused, but as he peeks, that player is baiting him out. The time running down, and Nats gets it. All three kills. It's 12 to 11, Gambit. Juggled around to try and just give them the best opportunity. See, Ned. Why is he here? Uh, if he gets a kill here, Gambit can't even... They can't what? even justify how, like, th there's no way. There's no way he should be here. They're even being cautious of it. This is what it's like to play against CNED. You take it for granted that he can be absolutely anywhere. And he still gets a kill out of it. Still alive. No dash. He's trying to get away. And Chronicle manages to shut him down. Defo continues. But Starzo is here, holding from the side with the second operator. Plenty of cash on Bone Cold allowed for this. Gambit. 
falling apart at the seams here on the mid control. Asander just crunching in, completely starving them of oxygen. That spike left down outside of B, and they have no option to really get near it for now. They have to try and fight for some sort of map control. Z. Oh, that's the round confirmed, isn't it? One versus four. Redgar I have the can maybe go for a, from the shadows to B side or something, but yeah, oh, he's got oh, A. No. That's unlucky. Uh oh. Well, he's seen him. If they want to be closing out this map, it's looking unlikely that their attack round will go their way. Defo falls right away. Ascend with the same old trick we've seen from them before. A player crosses to the left side here. Shados tucked in the corner. This could be an opportunity, but they're ready for oh! it. It doesn't matter. He still manages to walk away with three. A huge turn up for Shados, who now has a res online. And he'll be getting his teammate right back into this fight. 4v1, kill as not a chance. As we go third here, Gross, that would have been heard by Bone Cold. It's a looking like somewhat of an all-in take. Three players looking to try and battle for control. In effect, and as noise is now made inside of main, Nats chooses left. his time to strike. He's coming up behind as we speak. The sprays, as these players are so focused, they don't know that Nats is here and he gets him. What was that on the seat? He spray transfers it into a smoke and headshots him as well. Ridiculous play from Nats. And that gives Gambit the chance. A 3v3 as they hold on to the site now. Redgar going in the smoke falls. They need a big play to come out and shade us falls. Chronicle all alone. Two players left to drop and he can't get it done this time. It will be another over. Walk through the cages. They use the wall to try and give them an elevator spot. Nat's still just surviving in the back and almost buying time. Shados has already found a kill, but they still haven't cleared him. He hasn't actually moved yet. Finally, he'll be spotted. But again, there's just so many players here at this point. They just can't shut him down. Three kills. You know, if they're pushing behind, the fact is, though, Ascent have actually full rotated in. There'll be four players ready and waiting on this A site. Trades coming back thick and fast, but it's a missed shot on Zeke. An opportunity for Defo to find something here, and instead, he falls to CNET. It's left to Shados Who's going to find two quick kills? The plant is going to be stuck. He has his res available. Starzo had an opportunity to pick him off. Instead, he'll bring back Defo. The P comes in, and he'll get both kills. It's going to go level once again. Hey, sorry, yeah. <laughs> There's only going to be one defender, though, Mitch. Already, they're going to walk into the first trip, trying to find him within the cages. But instead, they find Defo, and Nance is still surviving. He's still alive. He's so annoying. Wait. Hey behind in heaven, but they're still being suspicious of it. <gasps> Either way, we're going to have this fast push in. That's quite a lot of ground that's been garnered initially, but I guess it doesn't matter. Two kills coming through. Killers gets tagged, but instantly healed back up. Bone Cold just holding on to any sort of flank, and if they want to keep... Well, I, I don't think they should want to keep pushing this. There's so many players on the other side. Killers, that was a little bit audacious. This could come back to haunt them, but now the flank's coming through. Chronicle would have to turn around and... This time, he, he looked at it, he's like, is this going to bounce? Okay, it's not. Cool. <laughs> just to make sure. Great opening nice pick by Shados as well. Like, insane aggression. Considering this is... That's something Ascend have done a bunch of times, right? They've put that wall down, but they haven't played on top of it. And you don't expect it at this critical stage of the game. That's just going to come through. Already, look at, look at the push coming through from behind, though. Defo, he's going to manage to get two off the back of it. Cena will finally put him in the grave. This time, the four players not quite as centered around stopping mid pushes, and that's when Cena starts to push down middle. Oh. As he, <gasps> bone cold, he's whiffed it. The one saving grace could be seen it. The operator oh, manages to shut down Redgar. He had pushed short in the early round, found nothing, and then goes back. Ascend are evened up. As they will look for a retake. The spike hasn't yet been picked up. And that door is going to be broken. Spike still cleanly within their sights. Defo has to make a play. The distraction's coming in. Trying to buy him a little bit of room to get up on top. He's watching over towards the door. Great headshot. But on 10 HP, Starzo survives. Another connection onto Nats. And Chronicle won't last long either. Uh, we are. We're on our way towards double digits in the twos. Well, it's going to be a push out of the sand towards the B side. But not too successful to start with. Zeke manages to pull it back. Chronicle. Oh my god. The wall is broken, so he can technically make it through there and start to really pressure them. You can see the spray is coming his way. Nats on the backside grabs the tag. There's a headshot, but no kill off it. Surviving on 10 HP yet again. Seen it. I mean, he, he won't be healed up, but he'll be thankful to just be alive at this point. 
Oh, the timing of the players. In fact, both on 10 HP, the spam through the wall, the paranoia are going to try and leave them blind. And Defo has taken so much space already finding that first pick. He gets tagged as well. It's left all on to killers. He doesn't have many bullets left to even play with. And they're just going to start sticking the defuse. They have to. But did he actually deny it? I think he did. Is there going to be enough time? I'm not sure there's enough on the clock for them to actually get this through. It's so... Oh, just absolutely nothing. That is ridiculous. All right, let's let's give it to let's give it to Gambit. Now they said that when Shados pops off, they win games, and he is currently pound for pound with CNET, who's having an absolutely incredible performance on that operator. He's been dominating, especially on that defensive side. How we saw it, just to bring them preemptively. He's going to spot out CNET. He's going to have to fall all the way back and give up that control. The problem is we're now getting down to the 40 second mark. And this is where a decision has to be made. I'm still looking at the current position of Bone Cold. This is something he's played so many times before. He gets the timing right. How does Red Guard get two? They were playing a bait and switch to give the kill over. This is Gambit's best chance. Absolutely. Yeah, 3v5. Sure, a couple of players are low. In fact, the heal can even come in, but not on the Red no. Guard. CNED saved them many times before, and he'll look to do it again. The dash is not online. This is an ambitious peek out of CNED as he loses one of his teammates. Starzo might be soon to follow. Luckily, just about staying alive. CNED on top. Such a hard fight to take with the op. As Starzo goes down, this round could be over. But if he finds this kill on the Nats, it's instrumental. And there it is. Two versus two. Both players down below. Oh, the shot's not going to connect. Starzo has to get them both. They're running. In towards this A site. It's the slow team versus... Oh, occasionally the very oh. fast team Zeke has just been owned. Completely stuck, blinded, and pulled all the way back. Left with no chance at survival. And the rest of his teammates haven't really been able to take much control either. Oh, right clicks for Chronicle. You can already see it happening. Blissfully unaware, Bone Cold went down. The spray and the smoke connects another, and CNET is alone. Blink and you miss it. But this clutch... Just to clarify that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what, what a good friend would do, right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh! What's up his sleeve? This round's def definitely still in contention. Gotcha. And HP, and there it is! Bone They're cold. not even going this way. This is a fake. Yeah, this and is he's his working. fake. He's got two kills on his fake. And now the rest of the team are going to try and push in onto Chronicle. Shock Dart. That should do a hell of a lot of damage. But he actually goes down the flag. They send investing a little bit more this time around, but even still it holds true. Starzo, first snake bite go down. But was that the second? In fact, they might be out of them. It doesn't matter right to the first pistol. Winning it and then losing in a fairly silly fashion to basically one player just dominating. And now, down. Wow, the purchase suck. Uh, Spike down uh, B. Suck. The purchase well, suck. it looks like uh, the purchase sucks. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch Low, the purchase sucks. Low econ's the way to go, isn't it? Gambit in the air with the pistols, giving Ascend a little taste of their own medicine. On the attack side, Ascend have picked back up the spike. Getting out of here might be a little bit tough. Don't you dare. Not the, the short control. Team. I've, oh, I've had Defo. enough of the judge. Oh, it's Definitely sickening. not this it gun. Really is. Oh, 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 he's got himself the first. I don't think he actually did any damage to the second player, so that's at least something. But now it's left all onto Starzo. He's retrieved the spike. He's retrieved the rifle. The Seekers are going to give away the positions of the remaining players, and he should be able to get himself the afterplant. I'm getting some deja vu here, Mitch. Found one. Yeah. Let's see if Starzo's got those big clutches. Oh, he's coming! And Nats is in a smoke! This is the worst place to be against the judge! It's right up in his face! And oh, it kills no. him even blind! I will leave. Oh, the nade pushes him out of position. <laughs> Defo's in trouble. He's got the angle! And that's gonna be the plunder down! Spike confirmed to be here. Rotates are fully underway. Everybody from Gambit is now on this site, ready to fight back into it. And Blade Storm has popped. This is where Defo looks to deal massive damage! And Zeke's the first to go! CNET, finally! 1v4, and he's gone. He's dealt with. What a beautiful retake for Gambit. Uh, they made that look easy. The team with the better buy on the round. Let's go for economy. Which a meter's distance saving his life. Cosmic Divide's going to be used defensively here. Nats going to try and force up a little bit of pressure. Wall manages to give him cover behind him. And he's even inside his own wall. That's, that's a nice little angle. Sadly, CNET expects it and takes him down. Redguard traded out. It is a battle and a bloody one at that. But Gambit are coming out on top. With Zeke, after lurking out on B at the start of the round, arriving to the site to find his entire team is dead. 
And as the Cosmic Divide fades, he has three players to take down that are inside of Puka. They're playing retake on B, or at least they were. The Cosmic... Never mind. Oh, I still get the kill. He managed to grab it. A headshot delivered immediately. I thought that they were going to play out of sight, but Chronicle walked in. Uh, so perhaps not as ready for that play as I had initially thought. CNET has a battle against the Operator of Defo with just a Sheriff in his hand. If he wins this, he gets an op for himself, and that could be absolutely world. massive. Viper's pit activated. Steps heard. CNET knows that player is running back. He has the info to play with. Uses it. Wow. If there wasn't a second guy with him there, CNET had the kill. He had the off, and the round could have went very quickly out of uh, Gambit's favor. But instead, they're now able to play the retake, and it's only re well, a good delay with the orbital strike. Actually, oh, takes Defo down. I, I guess he thought he was safe in the corner, but he wasn't. Oh, good that's kill. big. That's <gasps> big. The kill is actually surviving outside. He's got a rifle now. Another wraparound from Bone Cold. The time is ticking so fast. They've just got to get out of there. Just on time below. They've won this. So that flash is built. But he still gets that the headshot. Pin on B long. That's that a solid hold to give a three-man A hold. That judge is intentional, by the way. I think he has extra money to buy other weapons. <laughs> oh, yeah, indeed, indeed. <laughs> that's it's nothing to do with finances whatsoever. It is going to be... Still the operator in play, and now after all of that ultimate spam, we've seen some used in this round on the other side, and they still have weaponry to play with. Zeke is able to take quite a lot of control. The Hunter's Fury will get one, and actually Zeke just continues, already finding a pick. Shados oh, has a lot oh. to do, he goes over the top, but he can't quite kill off Zened, and that leaves just one man standing. Nats, who put his Viper's pit... Zeke can just pop the nade in and then peek afterwards and it's already done and dusted. I think his best hope is just to play for some exits, grab a kill and take the TP. Because let's just lob one into the box as we go back. No. The stale right. really. There's the peek and the shot doesn't connect. Great one from Col Phone Cold. Nats spotted out on the left side. He's going to cross over. Costs him a lot of HP to reposition. Now down to 38. They'll be cautious of... Oh, he's on three. Another bullet to the foot, in fact. Ooh. Down. It's just about able to get out of there. Yeah, that was a Vandal shot. 34 damage to the leg. Have to be in vision. If that was his body, he was gone. Would have done the full 40. He is very, very lucky. Well, after forcing out that position, something that many players have struggled to do. Do they spam this wall? It's, it's quite common to spam this wall. Flash can leave him completely blind, and there Hold you on. go. Thank you very much, Zeke. It leaves it all onto Shados, who is known for these sort of moments. <gasps> That might be the play of the tournament. That is one of the most unbelievable things I've ever seen. He's going to close it out with the... That somehow they've oh. been credited with. I see what Regar means. I'm... 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 I'm oh. <laughs> I know you see okay. what I mean when I talk about Defo. This guy is just impossible to play against. One of the most frustrating enemies you can possibly Critical. have. We and he's could have had a back-to-back... -back Bladestorm as well, obviously. Basically killed the majority of the team. And he's going to be able to dash out of there. Easy kill onto CNET. He didn't get blinded, so they had absolutely no idea he was there. They're jumping at players, actually. We'll see. The flash didn't come out. It walked in. It's worked out for the first. Shados is blinded up. He decides to play inside of them. Oh, my God. It's so big brain. As he moves around the backside, he'll be dropped eventually. You rarely see anybody inside of his... A deep flash, blinding all the players, giving the information away. Nats needs a big hold here. That's a showstopper, and he deals with it. Not even a lick of damage on that hookah hold, and now everyone else coming down through long. The spray is good. Another gravitational well that sees massive value for Gambit. Shados with the double, and it should be it closed out. Starzo is a 1v4 to win, and he'll try his damnedest to just get out of this position through the choke point and take some duels. They're gonna... I don't know, I, I just hit a button on my keyboard and heard a Windows sound, but okay, it seems to be fine, I guess. That, that really freaked me out. But okay, here comes Seek, barreling through the teleporter, looking to get a little bit of damage done, but he ends up falling. They're running right into the hands of Gambit. A loss in this pistol could be the end for Ascend, and they have not managed to get it. I like the early round presence. They put up the Tiger down through middle. That spots out the Rays. If a bit of information to play with here, at least on two players that are holding the site. Rotate has come through to allow Starzo to play with his teammates. Kill has trying to battle inside the smoke is good for one. Three positions. And that's beautiful. I don't need some in their mind. Nobody ever wants to see that. <laughs> uh, hopefully you don't own a hat like that. Either way, Redgar could left. still make this one at least a little bit more problematic. Shados is lurking in this corner. The spike is in 
a horrific position. Truly horrible. But they are still watching every other angle and keeping an eye on any sort of push that comes through the spawn Shados. Looking to try and pop flash through. The second one's quite far away, but they have to make a move on it. It doesn't catch out the player. It leaves it all on to Redgar. And Killers will be there to close out the round. Elements of both of these comps that I really enjoy. But yeah, I think the, the non-raised play is tough. How did he win that fight? That is the left. weakest weapon in play for Gambit, it? who just took a wide swing through a Viper wall <laughs> and able to take a, a kill on site. He's still going. He's still running at them, and he comes oh. damn close. If he wasn't blind there, that was the freest kill of his life. Four versus four, uh, but it was all a distraction. Defo on his side. Shados with another, and the Get spike can now way. be planted. They've got the space to do it. They're not 100% sure. They're worried about it flying, but they reposition. It's nice. Oh, no. He's he has to get his life. He has to sacrifice himself. Defo, oh, just about gets it. The right click didn't land. Bone Cold has a chance. 20 HP on Defo, but it's Chronicle further away. Already spotted. Information there to play with for Bone Cold, but he's at such 2-0. to zero. The funny thing is, as well, is I think he almost definitely gets Defo if he doesn't throw down the stim. <laughs> he, you could say he I, Defo I, I, gets him. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, but this the stim I think actually <laughs> gave him away. So it, it, it's one. Okay, cool. Cheers, lads. Yeah, from those sheer surprise, the reaction was quick. And Trial. But here, he is surpassing any and all expectations. Seekers, flashes, and opening kills. Gambit managed to at least apply some pressure to ascend, but it doesn't look like they're committing. In fact, this is all a big ruse as they now rotate back towards the A site. They're not going to go in through bathroom. Too many close corners to clear. Snake bite down will slow them. No, in fact, they'll run through. They'll take a little bit of damage as they do. And double damage on the fights. No connection for Starzo. Kill as up close. Dealt with. Devil in with the double. And this is looking done. Zeke needs to go absolutely nuclear inside this Viper's pit. And he does pick up a double. Equalizing the numbers. Bone cold on the flank caught. They know exactly where Zeke was. Which direction he's coming from, there's... On the other side of it, then again, I know how good a send can be on the attacking side, so we'll see. It is, as I said, the, almost the alternate comps. Bone cold, all right. He's just going to go dancing through all of the utility and find himself the opener. Give an advantage over to Ascend and they can fall back into their afterplant positions. You can see they currently have a couple of snake bites available to them, so this is about to become very difficult for Gambit. Yes, it is a tough task ahead. As they make their way back in, it gets a little easier with Defo's kill, the Lurk play out of kill as They just need to buy time for him to get up behind, and they're trying to distract as much as they can. Viper Utility down on the side, but Defo keeps on fragging. It's all left under the flank of kill as and there's no one left to cause a distraction. An easy defuse coming in as Defo desperately wants to get his knives online, his blade storm, and he'll even take the... Kind of sucked at these. The, the second round... I think they've lost every second round of the map so... Or of the game so far. They have. Yeah, you're 100% you're right. The Ecos have been destroying them. This uh, time Ascend invests a little bit more with the three marshals that they have in play. And considering the map, Tom, this was something we highlighted when it first came out, right? We had that, that VOD explaining the map. And we said that, well, that's what you want to be careful of, is marshals. <laughs> uh, he baited it with the cam. Nasty oh, nats. I, I I honestly think I'd end up, like, just turning my computer off if I played against him. I'd be like, nah, that's stupid. Oh, and they've isolated another duo. It, it really is happening again. It's reliant on a low yep. red guard and Nats, who, well, in terms of a retake on the A site, is not going to be in the best of positions. You've also got to watch for the lurk. Well, bang headshot with the classic isn't going to be enough. It doesn't cut it. It leaves Nats one hit. Oh, All right. okay. I was going to say to a marshal, but he, <laughs> that's a quick way to finish him off. And Redgar, really he already said he was quite low. He might want to just save this Guardian, but they've spotted him. And then a couple of seconds, they'll realize he's saving. And look at that. A mass exodus of the A site as they look to move towards the spawn. It stars. And it's going to be used up right away, revealing just the one player towards the B site. There is going to be heavy pressure on Nats as he gets pushed down. CNED to his right. Starzo to the left. And well, that's going to be the B site overrun. Four versus three. Gambit. Trying to find an angle to get back in on. Defo, not able to detect the trap wire in time, so he's out of here. And Viper's Pit erected means it's going to be pretty tough to get in. Maybe they can get a tag with that recon. Hasn't quite connected. They spam the other side. Nothing found. And I don't want to throw the word save around just yet, and especially not with Defo pushing forward, but it is an uphill battle. And as the numbers thin out over on the Gambit side, that's the Viper's Pit dropped. Hold on. 
They're still in this for now. Time is relatively low for now. Red Gar, good to take stars, though. It's just one more player left to deal with. Looking for the wall bang headshots, baiting him into the open. It's getting damn close, but Zeke will finish it out. Three to one for us. Nowhere to run, but let's see if that... Ah, what Whoa. was that? Was he, it looked like he was mid-dash when he did that. Obviously, he wasn't, but the timing. He's so quick on the trigger. What? They've just been blasted out of the server, and as of right now... Ascender looking like they're bad. Upward reveal someone, but they destroyed it. Now Starzo has that little flank. Redgar's already down. They know that the cipher is somewhere near the site. Starzo's cut off the rotate. This is textbook. This is so good. From Ascend, they're doing everything right. And that's the last player alive with a double, but still three more to go. And it's CNET will take him down with a classic in hand. Ascender may pick. Again, they're leaning in towards that B side. The defense there hasn't been oh much. Nance is going to find a kill, but, well. Redgar has just been ruined in the I meantime, and now, again, middle control is going to be pretty much taken full control of Bicenid, and this has been one of the issues so far, is that uh, there hasn't been much of a response. They've had this for free. You know, with the weapons that Gambit have, I think it's acceptable to give up that mid control, but here's the problem when they start to split on in. You might be able to get one from behind. Well, no, you won't. <laughs> Not when CNED's doing that. Chronicle and Shados left alone, and this is looking like a very different team to what we saw in the previous, but as you said, in, they still had the option to split through if they found a kill. And once again, this is going to be the same battle. Oh, oh man. My God. Okay, Rego, stop peeking there. Control, and then indeed, as we're seeing right now, Killers is going to be pushing up in the late round. It, this is a massive problem for Gambit. If they're not able to maintain control over Hull, they're going to constantly be split on this site. And at the moment, even when they're not being split, they cannot maintain control on just basic one-way pushes through Cade. And something, and, well, let's be real, for Nats' normal setups, an operator does not make any sense at all. Like, the, the concept of it is for him to try and find players while lurking around his cages. I and think this, this in the way that their rounds are changing. In fact, even look at this okay. one. Focus has been the A side so far, but now they shifted to middle and they get dropped by Shados immediately. A Spectre finding reward. Bone Cold atop the wall is in a bit of trouble as he gets revealed. He's able to find one, but falls afterwards. That Vandal will be retrievable. They can jump on up and get it, or indeed let Defo go for a little updraft. Now the jump is just fine. Oh, that's. Oh, Nats did get it. Okay, the UI was a little slow to update. So. They've got two Vandals, and they've got a retake. The problem could be Starzo. He knows there's a player inside of mid. And he's going to take him down. Hunter's Fury punished immediately. Flash in. CNED gets the kill. Backs off. Nats tries to open space. He has to deal with the opera on the back of the site. And it's not going to be an easy task, but Chronicle does it. Just a sheriff in hand. All that's needed. Starzo, the late mid lurk. He came back over towards Elbow, and he's able to find one. The spike needs to be defused. And as the orb goes up, the spray is in. Starzo challenging. Flash up close. He's going to blind him completely. And it's free as can be. Ascend. To Gambit within this tournament. Now, Bone Cold, again, he's just gone strolling up mid. They have walked straight through. They've gone from battling for it completely to, well, this time, just leaving it open. There's a few things. There's a few things that I'll say here when it comes to this. And the first is that for a team... Who we have seen, I believe, at 12-4 or 12-5 in the lead, coming into pistol rounds. There seems to be no limit to the amount of pauses that Gambit will call in a game. And they are currently 9-1 down. Have, have they called a single pause? If at all, they've called one. And I genuinely feel like there we have hit a point. I'm not sure exactly where it was, but we hit a point a few rounds ago where Gambit said, screw it, let's play the next map. This is a BO5. <laughs> Ultimately, it will not eliminate them, but they also have two attempts to close this out. And with how the previous two have gone, they can feel relatively comfortable that this is this is not the map that they're going to win. Yeah, well, uh, go on, knife him. Oh, play the knife, no. play the knife, play the knife, What are you doing, man? Oh, no. And he's been knifed by both. Raw pushed five times in a row that we saw earlier, and you don't call a pause to fix it? Well, then I'm kind of thinking that you're just running around playing an unrated, you know? Got your well, it's not getting any better by the looks of things. There's no that just styling. He's going to pull out a blade storm of his own and just go hunting. Try and shut down Nats. And they're, they're even going to try and catch him in the spawn. This is unbelievable. CNED has spotted him as well. They knew he'd be on the rotation. And a work on yet. Maybe one that's just not within their wheelhouse at all. But 
with Haven coming up in a bit. I am starting to feel a little bit worried for them. Defo, though, has been able to find them an opener at least. He's been tagged low, but they've cleared out the site. Nat's also waiting on the rotation. Maybe they're going to win both pistols, Mitch. Yikes. One enemy remaining. Flawless. And end up with two rounds, perhaps. We'll see. The send worked out very well. Gamba just could not keep control of it, but now on their attack side, oh, they're going all the way down. They're really rushing into this. Kill has them almost lined up. The first is his. A good return by Shados. Bring himself up on two kills. That's uh, double the previous half already. Beautiful. <laughs> I love this. Uncle still manages to catch. Spots one crossing over to the left side of Madonna. Knows there's another here, and that's going to be the planter. Good little Viper snake bite in. It does connect. Okay. He's taking double damage for now. Redgar heals up eventually, but he's taken down. And that's alone. One versus two. They've spotted him. That flash only reveals the left side of cave or where he is. And as he comes around that cage, it's about to fade. He's in the open. No bullets left. Starzo leaves him on eight health after the decay. Goes back to 39 still. One shot to the body from that Vandal Bone Cold. Stepping around, not quite sure where he is. He's lost track. Nats knows now exactly where he is, and the headshots connect. Doesn't get a kill. And in fact, Zeke ends up taking a little bit of a tag out of the, uh, or Starzo, sorry, from the Hunter's Fury. Gilles, oh, he's on them. Running and shooting with a Phantom, but it's that close, it doesn't even matter. Gambit quickly respond, taking everybody down and leaving just Zeke. The Seeker coming out, spotting him for now, and even them. has kind of been pushed back a little bit. The Viper Util, the flashes, they're keeping him at bay, but he wants to watch for them coming on through, and of course, he hits the first shot. He stays here aggressive, but turns at the wrong moment. Is there a drone still online? No, they don't have one. They're going to have to just raw peek on cold. Oh, he's managed to sneak right up behind them. A slippery snake indeed. Redgar's in trouble planting. He thinks it's safe. Little does he know. Bone Cold's right back inside the pit again. Ten seconds. They need to plant. They've spotted him, but Jados just cannot deal with him. And on one HP, it's easy. Pretty much trouble at all and I, I think the his positioning is always going to be something that's super valuable to them you have to think as well that a clutch or two that he's managed to win has basically kept them in the map currently considering how low or far down they were he's now the top fragger of the server a chance for him to maybe catch them off guard although they've already started to watch it uh, is he going to expect the close angle he half checks it shadows even going to peek into the angle feeling his confidence is back in play Redgar going to be expected he is Zeke catches the jewel and we go back and forth as there's still an opportunity here for the defender Starzo has found another but the pit has been popped Chronicle last alive on this side he has his pit to play around the first kill goes to him the flash not going to connect but Zeke takes him down and at long last Ascend have managed to close this out 11 to 1 in the first half Flank underway over on the Gambit side, but there's going to need to be a big hold happening. Defo good for the first, but shut down immediately. They're being starved here on the site. But hold on. What? He's ran through a smoke and gotten two reloading and almost good to connect on Starzo. The final man alive. A 1v3 in the first secured, but the spike is down in the open. Shados providing a little bit of a distraction from up above, trying to keep Starzo's attention, but he turns to check his back. Redgar just probably should have had that as a possibility. Shados, huh? don't you dare. Huh? Don't you dare. What? He's right on the edge of the smoke. He's going to spark killers. Oh. It's a little bit awkward, but Chronicles found another one. Bone cold, though, with a quick couple of trades. CNET does a little bit more as well, so Redgar's all alone on his newfound agent, the Reina, pulled out. We'll see if he can grab a little something, something. Bone Cold's already down. We're going to see a dismiss on contact, and he doesn't see anyone, so that's a free Vandal. Nice upgrade in the 1v2, and with CNET being so low, Zeke is the point of contact. No flashes left on this Phoenix. They can only rely on double peeking at good Lear going up in the sky. He knows there's one backside. Not sure oh, about the second. From long, but are they ready for the window play? Yes, they are. Starzo shuts him out. The wall bang's not quite going to go Shados' way, and that's a man advantage cleanly for Ascend to start this round off. Yeah, they do well. They predict everything that came through so far. They've also been fantastic at using their utility to try and force players back, and with this double flash ability of both Phoenix and Sky, their bursts are going to be so deadly. But this man, he's back on a small site. He's back in his little corners. I'd be worried facing into Nats. Shados not having the easiest of times on the spray, even steps into a smoke. 
blinding him at the worst possible time as Ascend overrun the A site. A really tough situation. Well, CNET's behind. <laughs> wow! Back to what has to be a very aggressive round because they just don't have much invested. Gregor, though, does still manage an opener, and even through the trip, Defo's caught another. The blade storm going huge right at the start, and they keep on going. There's the retrieved weapons now. They start to move to the C site. It is a nasty Nats tucked in the back corner that delivers the first blow, the second, and oh even the third. What is this? He is a ratty player. That works out far the too many Joke's times, over. far too often. Dead. This is going to be tough. Uh, they've lost complete control. Nice paranoia to just drop down and cover it. They've used the run it back. And sure, it doesn't look likely they'll get it. Oh, maybe they will get a kill. Oh, okay, Chronicle saved by the clock there. As the run it back is recalled. Nats has the option to drop down the flash through the cage. Here's going to be huge. There's no way they expect it. Oh, it's so beautiful from Ascend. Every piece of utility perfectly calculated. Even to allow CNED to peek, that flash doesn't blind him. I love watching this. these two teams play. Out of charges. It, it's weird. What we're seeing back to back, like rounds that are just dominated by one squad. Even when it's weaker purchases, it just does seem like it could go either way. And Flash pulls Redgar off the angle, but he's tucked on the right side, and Cena might not expect this. It peeks right in. If the camera on middle, watching for someone pushing through, another op pick. This time it's Defo, that double operator setup now spotted. But it might be a little too late to, to do anything in this round. <laughs> Look at Vocal. <laughs> There's two tripwires. How are you even going to get past that? Tripwire destroyed. He could shadow step, but he's definitely dead. And now they already know. Nats is already going to pick up another. And then he walks into the second one. Whoop. He's actually not going to get killed. Uh -huh. He's still alive. And Stars has opened this up. How is, how is this even competitive? How? It shouldn't be. A double whip from Defo. We talked about the inconsistencies when it comes to his offing play, and right there. Ooh. You see that? Ex oh, Shados is even going to be delayed. What is this? Bone Cold? One of the most aggressive. It's a two versus three, and he takes this angle atop the box. They smoked it off. They think they're clear. And as they come out, they'll realize quickly where he is, but can they deal with him? Yes, they can. Starzo. One versus three, clutch needed. Look at this entry. Chronicle running what? around, but hold on. Starzo's making it work with five HP. The Classics pulled out Redgar 65, and the first right click misses Redgar, punishing and Has even taking the defuse. Just about oh, enough time. Just about. It was, what, 65 HP on Redgar, and I think he finished with 13. And the right click, the RNG could have done it for him. Shade oh. just lines them up. Beautiful double and damage done to Bone Cold here as well as CNED finds a pick, but it only equalizes the numbers. What are these rounds? <gasps> the steps are hurt. Oh, so competitive. He's now got the Seekers. That's going to give him all the information that both the remaining players are currently going to be making their move through the garage. It's a peek out from CNED. Again, so quick on the trigger. Now they are slowly being flanked. Do they expect a second player to be coming from long? It might not matter. Chronicle now throwing in the operator on the brim, but it's all to delay. And they will drop out Bone Cold. It's left to CNED to close it. 30 HP in an op. Oh. Wow, he ought, ooh, that was a little bit closer than I would have liked it. Plant, he has to gamble here. Hoping that that player hasn't pushed through garage and he's correct on that, but he has now. Making his way to the site. What a shot to start this off. Chronicle also using the operator, but he hits the shot. So oh, this man again. He had a nearly round just moments ago. He's got himself a rifle into his hand. A peek out from Redgar. Hands him his seekers. And that gives them the space to try and take over this B site. And after plant, inevitable. Why? Well, I say that. They're not even going to plant. They've taken the control over towards C if they really want it. This round is falling apart. And that flash from Starzo is so good, but even full blind Nats is a dangerous enemy to have. The camera goes up. They've heard it on the left side. In fact, Nats will throw his own out there. Double cams on the wall. 
They're just waiting. Defo wanting to catch an angle onto these players as they push on through. The tag doesn't come in, but they still deal with Nats. Leaving the operator to do it all. Defo dashes out of the way. He's got a close fight and a no scope to close it out. Six to three. The round goes to Gambit. A hair's length separating the two. It is fast pressure into the A-side. This has been the weakness. The A-side hold has not been particularly good. So they put Nats in place and he will kick things off. Easy stuff for Ascend on that push. Good trade for them with only the one man lost. And CNET makes sure they keep this extending. Oh my god. This man's ability with the operator is ridiculous, but Shados is still keeping the round close in spite of that. No! Knowing where both players are, he's already got three. Another flash available. He blinds him oh and gets it. Stop it. This can't be happening. Gambit with seven rounds. And so many of these are clutches, but Gambit keep on winning them, Tom. I'm done. I'm done. Nah, that's not. I'm done. Bring Lothar with you. Get Kakuka to help as well. <laughs> hey, get all the analysts in. We're going to need the whole team Zesh for this will be one. will be able to explain this one. It was oh, something to do oh, with no. the racing yeah. car. Free kill? Oh, free as can be. Chronicle with another judge in hand. Zeke can't get anything done, and it's left to kill as. Went as expected. Eight rounds for Gambit now. This. I mean, I said when we were on Breeze, Tom, that I was expecting this. Have a normal round. <sighs> yeah, can we get a breather? No. For a second? No, can I've someone call a kill. pause? Please? So Double Ops opening shade. I'll send a lot of trouble. He panics a little bit on that flash. He's still able to get it done. Pushing down the ultimate, but he doesn't want to overextend. He's conscious of someone being behind to watch it, and because of that, Zeke hunts him down. Taking the fight to them and putting himself back up on it. Not that much HP still. One hit by a baton over the body, and that's exactly what happens. Chronicle. Stimpy. Spike planted. Realize his, his flank is actually a little bit too soon. He's going to get caught out, 100%. There's no way he expected Redguard to be there. Why was he? He was so late into the push. Keep coming back through. Another for Redguard. It leaves it all on to Cena. There's no way he gets that kill. No, 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 no. Get out of here, man. No, no. Learned that had less high-intensity clutches than this. Kill us. Starting it out well with a pistol in hand, the classic. Zeke on his way up behind. Good shutdown. Now we're looking better over in the Ascend camp. It's all on the Nats, and there's no way he wins this. I'm calling it here. Oh, and thankfully, oh. logic follows. Oh. Only in mine, yeah. Uh, my, my teammates need to hard. When you're, when you're, when you're smurfing. Oh, they're waiting. This kill is free. It is as free as could be. There's only one <laughs> defender left, but killers will rotate in in time. CNED in the corner. But they're not going to push him. Oh, that's a spike. That's a spike. He needs to run. Help is there. Defo on his way. And he shuts him down. They've spotted... Oh, wow. They keep on trading it back. It us, you dirty boys. Heard the drop free. And they know exactly where Killez was. They will be towards Spawner coming out of Garage. He's found them inside a Garage. And they are just hiding, playing the time. And eventually... Shutting him down. I didn't get it. Bounces into the hole and then hits off the flap and goes back up. What is that? <laughs> no! Oh, God. No! <laughs> no! Oh, the timing couldn't have been worse. These rounds are so back and forth. Oh, I can't cope with it. Peak three. Even new is there. That's still going to hit the shot. They've got the A site. And it's going to be the rotation already coming back in, but it will be an after plan. But they're going to go together, rallying the charge, the good flash, and Killez gets one trade, is there, not even needed, nobody dies from Ascend. Is they get a flawless re- Hiding in the cage. This is a push that you just can't afford to make. Killers, though, has already managed to find Defo with a little bit of aggression, and ooh, it's almost a kill for Bone Cold. Well, he got one on the Nats at least before going down. It keeps the numbers even. Kill is oh, quite that? low and, well, very low now. Quick headshot through the wall. Gorgeous stuff for Redgar. No, because it's weird. But if he gets the kill on the Redgar, he can he can actually win this round single-handedly, but it's going to come down to timing. I mean, uh -oh. how does he... Ex he can't expect that. There's no way. I Complete respect for Zeke in that left. position. He was in a very tough spot. But now CNED has a clutch. And you know what, Tom? My money's on him oh. with how things have been going. Nope. No. There's no way. Absolutely zero. Zero percent chance that he does this again. 
for however many times it's been. He's even burning. He's on fire. He's going to be pushed out, and this okay. time he dies. So basically, he's seen a dash get killed. Cheers, Mitch. Either way, we're going to have the push coming into the site, and, well, it's not going great again. Looking like they're going to need a hero. Killers has already managed to find one. Be careful, Nat. This man is not afraid of your cages. You've been spotted out. Oh, he's going to go for the no-scope peek and actually manages to escape. Still fighting the hill. Just run away from CNED. CNED on A. Go anywhere else. This C site. If they smoke it off, in fact, it'll be a molly towards spawn, and they're going to take the straight fights. Killer is good for one. Now, CNED, we said this guy was an operator. Two to three kills, guaranteed. He's already got one ton, and now his chance to clutch this out in a 1v2. Wouldn't be the hardest clutch he's won today. Oh, Defo's going to push him as well. He's not going to from earlier. Gambit have not won a map of Haven this year. This year. Immediately, you know, they were looking like they were down and out, and yet they pulled it back again and again, and that's a very valuable kill. With Chronicle going down, they lose their smokes. Redgar's out as well, so now you've got the Sky Flashes to play around, but no Leers, no heal-ups, and that's... I cannot believe this man is tucked in this corner. That is utterly ridiculous. He was even watching a cam on short. He wasn't even sure that they wouldn't push him. If they went up, they would kill him. How does he have the goal to just do that? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm so confused at this stage, but hey, almost the year of casting Valorant. I still don't know what's going on, but let's go. <laughs> it's going to be a retake coming through. Now a three versus three. Defo lands the instant shot. The other two players a little far behind. It's his time to shine. It's Starzo in a one versus three, and this time...